Uh, right. But, you know, that the Haitian Revolution set off a chain of events that is still in progress. Yes. To this, the only way the United States was able to expand past the Mississippi River is because the Haitians were kicking the French people's ass. And, and, right. Uh, you know, uh, Napoleon decided to give up the whole Louisiana territory. Right. It was double the area of the present United States. Right? Yeah. Uh, 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 what else happened? I mean, it's just a chain of, chain of events, you know? Because uh, um, it, it, that also made um, Rothschild. That made that move made some of the Rothschilds uh, rich through uh, deception through stocks and like whatever little exchange system that they had at the time. I think uh, the value of the value of the land and things went down. Or he well he was telling people that Napoleon was winning and Napoleon was actually losing. The value went down and he was able to purchase things and the value went up and it made him rich. So yeah, it did. Re it set off a lot of uh, chain of events that that helped the Western world, but also it inspired a lot of slaves or, or enslaved Africans around the Caribbean. It inspired them to fight back. And the, the slave masters was like, well, no, we can't have this happening. So that's when they started more aggressive uh, tactics to oppress them. But it, it reminded black people throughout the diaspora in the Caribbean and in South America and North America that we can be free and people started fighting back even more. Oh yeah, the, uh, think about it. Haiti. Haiti declared independence January one, eighteen oh four. How many countries in this hemisphere had declared independence before that? Think about it. Just <laughs> one. Just one. No, just one. Okay. What was it? Okay, say I'm sorry. Say it again. Say it again. It was breaking up a bit. Okay. Prior to Haiti uh, declaring their independence on January first, eighteen oh four, there was only one other country in the Western Hemisphere that was independent of this colonial uh, uh, connection. Okay, what let me write this down. My question is, what country was it? And I don't know. Year, I don't know. 1776. What happened in 1776? Well, we know America. Oh, yeah. Okay. American Revolution. Right? Right. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. I got you. Okay. I'm two with you now. Okay. From this side of the Atlantic, right? Two mm -hmm. free countries from this side of the Atlantic. Uh, one's white, one's black. Right. Right. The other free country, as well as all of the neighbors, everybody else surrounding them, was still slaveholding countries. Okay. So, right. so the so the foot was put on the knee was put on the neck of Haiti. The knee was put on the neck of Haiti. Uh, I had a book Haitian tell me they didn't want the idea of immigration to leave this island. They didn't want it to get out because of what you were just talking about was going to insane. Right. Uh, and cause some other stuff to be going down. So and that's, why, that's why the foot is still on Haiti to this day. Right. To this day. I have a I have a document written by uh John Brown Rustwalker. He wrote a letter in just a few years after the Haitian Revolution. I'm sorry. Can, can you say the Can you say the name again? It was breaking up when you were saying the name. John Brown Rustworm. R U S W U R M. John Brown Rustworm. Right. He okay. wrote. He wrote a. He wrote. A, he wrote. A, he, gave a, he actually gave a speech. He gave his graduation speech. And he, he graduated from college. Uh huh. And, and the title of this. The title of the speech was The Condition and Prospects of Haiti. Okay. In the speech, he talks about you know, the fact that Haiti had a great promise to be one of the leaders, to be one of the leading countries in the world. Right? This, this is just a few years, like 1810 or something like that, when he's like this. Uh, okay. And, and, 
And, you know, in other words, he was expressing that Haiti has such great parts. Now, Haiti helped liberate Bolivia, South America. They helped, they helped the United States win the War of 1812. Mm -hmm. There was a battle fought in Savannah, Georgia. And Haitian troops helped help, uh, uh, the Americans defend Savannah against the British troops, right? Uh, I think one year, uh, one of the brothers who was in the Florida legislature uh, issued mm -hmm. a proclamation mm -hmm. in commemoration of, of that event. So there, there's something, something in, the, in the state papers of Florida showing that uh, uh, recognition was given to the Haitians who fought the Savannah. Right. Uh, okay. 